Okay, so today we are doing duct tape and plastic spoon catapults. Um, the object is to load the pom pom or just like a tin foil ball. I don't have a lot of pom poms. I assume that everybody just doesn't have pom poms all the time. So you can also make little balls out of tin foil into the spoon and launch it and stick it to the duct tape. I made this little duct tape doll. It's a science activity. We're learning principles of physics. Um, as we're doing it, we're talking about what makes a good launch. Oh, you got it! <laughs> I got that purple one. I got, got orange and purple one. Got got orange and purple. Good. Yeah. Those two are mine. I saw you pulled it back really, really far, and that made it go really, really fast. Uh -huh. So those are the kind of observations we're talking about, how the way that they're doing it impacts the way that the ball flies through the air and hits the duct tape. Um, Mommy, we have other I kids who can talk about how when Good this job. gets pulled back, woo! Addy, did it do? Yeah. I did that one. I did that one. I did that one. I did that one. Okay, so I'll take you back to the setup here. Personally, I don't like to spend more time setting up an activity than I actually spend doing it with my kids. So I like to keep it pretty simple. Here I made this wall out of duct tape, but if you have contact paper, especially clear contact paper, that's gonna work even better because you could put a target or something behind it and try and hit it with the spoons, which is really fun. So you're gonna have to play with it a little bit to get it to work the way you want it to. I did, that's totally fine. It's part of the fun and really do have fun with it because the time you're spending with your child here is just as important as any other learning.